welcome to West Country Wanderings and welcome to Tynmouth in South Devon. I think I'm going to have to move from here because my feet are going to get wet shortly because the tide's coming in. Yes, I'm on the South Devon coast here for an explore around this town, mainly a photographic tour, but you're most welcome here at Tynmouth. What I intend to do today is catch the little ferry over towards Sheldon. We're going to have a look at that delightful village on the other side of the River Tain. But my feet are going to get wet, so see you in a bit. Now, Tynmouth lies on the South Devon coast. The nearest, next nearest town is Dawlish, famous for its black swans. We're also about 25 miles to the east of the city of Plymouth and about 15 to 20 miles to the southwest of the city of Exeter. I came here by train again today, similar to what I did the other day at Totnes, making my way further on down. But I've just decided to come here to have a beautiful explore, this lovely town here on the South Devon coast. It's out of season at the moment, so it's nice and quiet. If you come here, obviously in the summer, peak of the summer, this promenade is thronged with people in both directions, nice and quiet here today. So I've taken, started to take some photographs around the town, I can do a photographic explore, and then gonna catch the ferry across towards Sheldon, which is a beautiful village on the other side of the river. Interestingly, Sheldon has what's called a tunnel beach. I'll have a look at that, or rather I'll take some photographs of that. Sorry, excuse the noisy seagulls. Walk down to the beach there through the tunnel, and then we'll have a look at the botanical gardens, which overlook the town here of Timoth.
Now Tynmouth has a couple of churches. This one is St Michael Archangel right next to the promenade here and it has this beautiful arched doorway entrance. I don't think it's normal, I would say it's probably the decorated period, period perhaps 13th century, I'll have a look at that. The rest of the church is a lot newer than that I would say, it's late 19th century, but beautiful entrance gateway to the town here in Tynmouth. Of course the coastline here is famous for its red sandy cliffs and of course that means erosion and rock falls and we probably remember I think it was some six years ago now that there was a major collapse and the railway line was blocked just a couple of miles to the east of here at Dawlish. Thankfully that's all repaired and they're building a new sea wall there as well but you can walk from here towards Dawlish following the railway line with your sea on the right hand side. This is the famous stretch of railway track, Isambard Kingdom Brunel's famous South Devon Railway, which follows the coast or the English Channel for several miles. And you have this wonderful breakwater and sea wall, which you can walk across. Um, not recommended when it's highly windy though. The other thing at Tenmouth is famous is for films. A few films have been featured in this town. One is a, a Norman Wisdom film, which I think would have been filmed in probably in the 1950s I think it was called a stitch in time he played a local news reporter on the local newspaper in the town here and in fact it was actually called Tynmouth spelt T-I-N-M-O-U-T-H even though it's spelt Tynmouth but pronounced Tynmouth if that makes sense so when you see it in the film it is actually appears spelt as it sounds which is strange and famously in the film they actually drove a big red London bus into the water I don't think it was in the sea I think it was on a slipway and they drove it right in in the film so let's see if I can find a clip of that the other thing a few years ago Colin Firth was here uh, with Rachel Weiss. Uh, he played an explorer who set off from Tynmouth Port in the 1960s and sadly he was trying to circumnavigate the globe in his yacht and he his life was lost uh, but it was it's a brilliant um, film that portrayed the story that I'll put in the details of that below as well. Now because of the erosion here constantly is a battle to maintain this promenade here at Tynmouth but I think the council do a good job because it's obviously it's not a cheap thing to do to keep this maintained here in this beautiful town in South Devon. Now Tynmouth also has a wonderful pier sadly it's under renovation at the moment obviously like all piers Victorian piers they suffer a lot of damage from the storms particularly on the south coast here but I'm sure it'll be renovated and perhaps reopened again in time for the summer season but it's a delightful accent there aren't many towns and cities in Devon and Cornwall with piers this is one of the few so if you come to Tynmouth why not check the pier out. In terms of facilities, Tynmouth has the wonderful pavilions, performance centres, art centre, come cinema, come theatre, lots of things and functions. So if you do come here to stay, I'm sure you'll find something there that'll take your interest. In terms of facilities, Tynmouth has also got this delightful adventure park here for children, really good for children, families, also has a kiosk there where you can get teas, coffees, ice creams, etc really really clean and free facility here in the centre of town. I'm just outside the Teambridge, Teambridge, the Tynmouth Heritage Centre. I went in here a couple of years ago with my daughter, it's free to get in and it tells you the story at the shipbuilding that used to take place. I think one of the companies was called Biddles, there's still a port in Tynmouth an active port, commercial port that is, and uh, although it, they don't actually build ships there anymore, there is a lot of toing and froing up and down the River Tain that takes place. Well, this place inside tells you the full historical story of that and also the important role that Tynmouth played in the Second World War. Now, Tynmouth has the dubious of honour of being the last place that's been invaded by a foreign power, a foreign country, and that country was France. That took place in Timoth here in 1690 and it left the town in ruins. 
The cannonballs that you see in the wall behind me were actually embedded in the church wall that you saw earlier in the video, and that was later rebuilt, apart from the frontal arch, by the Victorians towards the latter part of the 19th century. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tour of Tidmouth in South Devon and the little photo tour of Sheldon on the other side of the River Tain. If you did, please consider a like, subscribe, a share or a comment below. Until next time on West Country Wanderings, hope to see you again on the channel soon. Take care of yourselves, look after yourselves and maybe you'll see me around soon. Take care for now. Cheers, all the best. Bye bye.